Hi guys, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. This is going to be a message for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most, a message for those of you that are going to uh, need it the most. Um, if you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. So with that being said, let's take a look and see what messages are coming through. King of Wands, he just went flying out of the deck. Okay, the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords, below that is the Five of Cups. There is definitely something here that's weighing really heavy on your energy. It's a situation that maybe uh, is looping, like looping, repeating in your mind. Maybe you're playing back memories of, of a past, uh, of some sort of situation, um, but it feels like it's some sort of situation that has hurt you okay something that you've said or didn't say something that you did or wish you had done or something that someone has said to you or they didn't say it's like you keep replaying it's like you keep replaying something in your mind and it's like in your mind in your imagination you're trying to find an alternative ending to this or an alternative outcome to this situation so you're trying to imagine that things had gone differently instead of how they really went this is an energy that is really heavy with regret this is an energy where and by the way guys this could be your energy or it could be the energy of the person that you're connected to but it's like maybe a mischance or a missed opportunity maybe someone wishes they had done things differently maybe someone wishes um someone wishes that they had taken a chance or taken a shot this energy is so heavy and it's so strong that I feel like it's manifesting in like regret is such a painful emotion that it is manifesting itself in uh, like physical pain um, the problem is whoever this person is they have this regret over a past life choice um, or of a past mistake this could be anything it could be you know a romantic situation it could be a career situation it could have been something very recent um, but the fact that this person keeps replaying this memory again and again in their mind they're missing out on the joy that is in front of them they're missing out on the op opportunities that are in front of them this is regret is this energy that's focused on something that didn't go according to plan or something that you know, it's this energy of imagining things having gone differently you know this counterfactual kind of thinking um so someone is trying to play replay something back in their mind but they're trying to avoid the outcome that actually happened it's an energy that doesn't feel very pleasant. Um, it's an it's it's an energy that it's it's difficult to feel. Regret is something that is very difficult to feel. Um, the thing is. Whoever this is, they can turn this regret. Yes, there was a missed opportunity. There was an opportunity or a chance at something and you didn't take it. Um, yes, you were presented with an opportunity and you weren't ready for it. Yes, you know, you could have had, you know, a different outcome or things had, could have had gone differently. But you need to take, if this is you that I'm connecting to, you need to take the negativity out of those feelings and turn this feeling of regret into an opportunity for growth into an opportunity for change because the thing is this opportunity that you feel like you've missed out on it is coming back around and it is presenting itself maybe in a different form but in your reality right now 
but you're not seeing it because you're really focused on the past and what went wrong. I think whatever it is that you're feeling right now, it, it does feel like it's characterized by a negative emotion, but I feel like it's trying it it's actually trying to motivate you. It's trying to motivate you to get up and take action. The King of Wands really jumped out, out of the deck and it's like I think he's trying to tell us that regret can be motivating. I think he's trying to tell us that, you know, it can be an energy that can drive you to overcome a past mistake or take action to correct it. So, okay, what happened, happened. And you, if it is you, you have played it so much in your mind that I think you know what to do or you know how to correct it. And you know how to make a better decision moving forward. So I do think it's like accepting your feelings and accepting yourself um, and just recognize that, hey, you're always learning, you're always changing, you're always uh, evolving. Forgive yourself to the person that I'm connecting to. Forgive yourself. Because regret does involve a feeling of guilt, right? Especially with the Nine of Swords energy, there's this guilt or like self Yeah, self recrimination, just find a way to make, find a way to let go of this anger, find a way to let go of this hurt, and find a way to just relieve some of this heavy energy. And just accept that, you know, whatever, it's a mistake, or at least it feels like it, just accept that whatever has happened here was just a part of the process. Yeah, okay, you can express remorse for what has happened here um, but you can't change the past right you cannot change the past you can't go back and change the past but you can absolutely take actions to improve tomorrow improve your future so the the person that i'm connecting to you're really focused and you're really stuck on your past so much so that I feel like you're missing out on the present. You know, you're so fixated on what went wrong here that you're not seeing what is going right in front of you. Um, take action. I think you need to take action. I don't know. I don't know if this is a romantic situation. I don't know if this is a situation that involves your finances or your career. I think you've spent a lot of time, and I think you'll agree with me when I say you've spent a lot of time regretting your decision or thinking about what could have changed or how you could have done things differently. It's a learning opportunity. It's what it is. Chalk it up to a learning opportunity. And take, I think there's something here that you feel, and that's the other thing that I get. Maybe there's something here that you feel guilty for not doing. Okay, maybe you feel guilty for not taking action towards something. Uh, maybe you don't feel like you have the knowledge, the foresight, or the experience. Start where you are. Start with what you have and start now with where you are. Um, remind yourself that what you have learned from the past, okay, whatever you've learned from the past, you have that knowledge. You have that knowledge to get started on this project or on this thing or whatever this is. Some of you might need to draw up firmer emotional boundaries. Okay, um, and I think that something he has hurt you, okay, something he has hurt you or someone he has hurt you, um, Maybe your boundaries, you know, someone may have overstepped their boundaries. Maybe your boundaries were not firm or rigid enough to begin with. But I think maybe the one lesson to come from this is, yeah, you need to draw up firmer emotional boundaries because there are people who, let's just be honest, there are people in your life who have benefited from you not having any boundaries. past holds the key to moving forward something that you've been dwelling on the 
there's information in that that can help you move forward or guide you forward towards something or someone. And you know why this, and it, because this is very strong. And I'm seeing hands. The Nine of Swords, the way she's got her head in her hands like that. I think that this feeling is so strong because this was in your hands. The decision was in your hands. It wasn't largely influenced by an outside, an outside energy. Um, the decision was in your hands and you felt like you should have chose differently. Just let it go. Whatever this is, let it go. You have learned from it. You, you really have. Okay, guys, and I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye for now.